quiere pan. <laughs> Everywhere you go in San Pedro, you're gonna hear that. Women on the street with big baskets of bread on their head just say it over and over. But it is funny because there is a kind of relaxed drug party culture in the area. And so these local women in their traditional outfit will be like, quiere pan? And then quietly, space cookies. <laughs> and like, if you're like, wait, did you say space cookie? Then they'll like giggle and like dig it out and be all secretive and give it to you for like a dollar fifty. Yeah, crazy cheap. You're just, you're not gonna get a lot done there. But you're gonna have such a good time. <laughs> San Pedro is the cheapest place in all of Central America. Guatemala is the cheapest country. People call it the Guatemala problem. A lot of people start their backpacking trips in Guatemala and they don't make it any further. <laughs> it's so cheap and so fun and the people are so nice, it's really hard to leave. We met a guy who, his bike had a mechanical issue there three years ago. He got it fixed, he was riding it around the lake now, but he just never left. Amy came to town to go to Spanish school. Also, Justin from Palenque came to Tetlan and hung out with us for a little while there too. Amy, Justin, Andrea, and I were all hanging out together and decided it would be fun to go in on a jet ski for an hour. <laughs> if you split it four ways, it's pretty affordable. It's, it's like a sad little 650 from the 80s, so <laughs> when you pile everyone on and it just doesn't move. Yeah, and then one day we decided to give Amy a mohawk. People really liked it, actually. She got a lot of compliments. Yeah. Her homestay family, the kid was just like, that's amazing, and then immediately gave her hair gel for it. After finishing her mohawk, we went out to the streets for a big firework festival celebrating the conception of Jesus. The festival was really cool. Lots of people processing with a giant statue of the Virgin Mary, bringing it to the church, and then fireworks like Galore. you would not believe. Like... Guatemalans love their fireworks. We had purchased a sheepskin back in Mexico, and we paid this guy to make us custom-tailored seat covers for our motorcycles. Also, Andrea had some pockets added to her riding pants. Oh, yeah. My some really awesome Guatemalan pockets. They're beautiful. I'm going to have to say they have a really awesome shoe store where they have all of these incredible Guatemalan fabrics, and you can pick out the style of shoes that you want and the fabric that you want and they'll make you just about anything, so we had to buy some. Custom shoes in one day. Also, the soles are made out of tires. Down by our hotel, they were doing road construction, and literally these people sit out there and hand-carved stone bricks with a chisel. All day, you just hear this little clinking. San Pedro has a huge problem with trash. We were shocked one day when we found a garbage truck coming by and picking stuff up and we asked him where what they do with the trash and he said that they bring it up the mountain a little ways and drop it up there. One response to the trash issue is a nonprofit organization called Pura Vida Atitlan that makes things they call eco bottles where basically they just save up a bunch of plastic bottles, jam them full of trash and then build walls and things out of them like bricks. We went over to San Marcos to visit the chocolate shaman who was unfortunately not there. We really wanted to do a chocolate ceremony. They do guided meditations under the influence of chocolate, which people don't really realize has alkaloids in it that people remove for being bitter. But if you leave the alkaloids in, they're mildly psychedelic. The chocolate shaman wasn't home, so we just bought some chocolate and brought it back to our favorite restaurant, Haku. They whipped up a few delicious liquados with chocolate in it, and then we went and meditated out on the lake under a beautiful tree for a while. What do you have here? This is hen laying egg. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Is that on purpose, you think? I think that's what it's supposed to do. I feel like I look high and like I'm totally sober. 